Hey, good morning and welcome to my channel. Well, in this episode, we're going to talk about filters. Not the little ones we stick on our little drones that you always see me talking about, but uh, look at the size of this one. This is massive. This goes on my professional camera. This is a Canon ESR and watch this. It doesn't go on like a normal filter. It goes on by magnetic. So Freewell has designed an entire professional filter system for professional cameras. Yes, Freewell is now in the high-end professional market. Now Freewell said to me, they said, Steve, take your professional filters and go and compare them against our Freewell filters and see if you can tell a difference. Well, I said back to them, I don't have any professional filters because they cost too darn much. So I have cheap filters and I can't compare cheap filters to high-end Freewell filters. So the cool thing is, is that these filters are not that expensive. If you're a professional and you do photography, weddings, you know, landscape, portraits, you're going to need filters and you're using filters that are a threaded system right now. You thread them on and off. This system is magnetic. So the entire system works like this. This is a UV filter that comes in the kit that I received. I thread it on. This is a Freewell UV filter and anybody who uses UV filters for their lenses, it's just so you protect your lens. So now my lens will not get scratched up. Now the entire Freewell system is in play. So next I can put on a magnetic filter. This is an ND1000. Click it on there. Freewell also includes a metal lens cover. Why is it metal? Well, because it's magnetic. It just <laughs> snaps on as well. Now I'm going to cut in here so I can show you a really quick close up of what you get in the box. Now Freewell has become really good at packaging these days and everything is massively professional. So inside you have this little Freewell box and inside this box you get stickers, microfiber cloth, info card with a QR code to take you to a site to explain everything about photography and what aperture ISO and all that good stuff is, information about the Freewell lifetime warranty for your filters, and finally a guide all about Freewell filters. Next item in the box is the filter. A set of magnets holds the case closed and when you open it up you get your beautiful filter inside and Freewell, check that out what they did for me right at the bottom, Captain Drone. Now this is a large filter because I have a very large lens. This is a gorgeous ND1000. Last item in the box is a metal lens cover and a UV filter. Here we have the UV filter and here is the metal lens cover. That is high quality and of course, magnetic. Here's my camera lens, here's the UV filter and one screws onto the other. And when I wanna do long exposure photography with my ND1000, it magnetically attaches and so does my lens cap. And Freewell has thought of everything. Say you buy another filter by Freewell. Here we have a circular polarizer, very nice filter. And uh, say you want to put it on the UV magnetic filter you already have there. Well, they have threads on it, but they didn't stop there. Say I went and bought another brand of filter, any other brand, it will still connect. You can just thread it on. All the filters will connect together, regardless if they are Freewell filters or non-Freewell filters. All right, kids, don't try this at home. What I'm going to do for you now is I'm going to show you how awesome these filters are. Right now I have an ND1000. This is the magnetic one. In my left hand, I'm holding the GoPro. GoPro right here. See, I can move it around. In my right hand is the ND1000. Over here is my little Canon ESR. Now what I'm going to do is keep holding these items in my hand while I take two photos. One photo is going to be on auto mode and the other is going to be with this filter on. And I have, all I have is a finger to do stuff, this little finger here. But watch, you can actually do it. It's pretty decent. Watch this. So if I put my GoPro up top on my camera, that's basically the shot it's taking. A little pylon out in the water. What I want to show you is the difference if I put this little ND1000 over that pylon what's going to happen? Well, what's going to happen is see all that water that's moving. It's not going to be moving anymore. So first thing we have to do is show you what it would look like without a filter. So on the front of my camera, the only thing on there would be the Freewell UV filter, which is clear glass. It affects nothing. So let's go to the back here. I'm going to hit my little mode switch. And on my screen over here, you can see I'm in auto mode. So I click on that. So I'm on full auto. And there's the image of the pylon, which is right there. And I'm just going to take my little finger here. I've got my touch screen enabled so that if I tap on it, it takes a photo. Here we go. Photo taken. And now we're going to put it in manual mode right here. Click that. Go over here. Hopefully you can see this. There's a big M down here. Manual. There we go. 
Everything should be white. Look at my screen. You see it's white because everything is overexposed over here. So I'm going to take my little ND1000, plop it on. Guy SO100, my aperture set on F8. And over here for my shutter speed, I only have it open for four seconds. That's it. Now, four seconds, what is that going to do to this photo? Well, guess what? It's going to do this. What I wanted to show you there is what I've discovered with these magnetic filters is that I don't need a lot of hands or a lot of fingers because I don't have to thread a filter on, thread a filter off. That is a problem in the past. If I had my camera bag with me and I was pulling out filters for different situations, I have to thread them on, thread them off. Every time you thread a filter on or off, well, you're probably going to move things around your camera and you're going to have to reframe your shot, especially if you've already adjusted the focus when there was no filter on. So a lot of times for those who are photographers know this, if you're going to take a photo of something and there's not a lot of light and you're putting an ND1000 on, you have to set the focus before you put the ND1000 on. So set the focus and then when you put the ND1000 on you don't want to move the camera because you'll move it out of focus. So that's why these magnetic filters are outstanding. So if you're a professional photographer or an amateur photographer try these filters out. I've got two sets here that Freewell sent me and I've tried both of them and they are outstanding. Try them out and leave a comment below and tell me what you think. Now Freewell says they're just as good as the high-end professional filters that cost four times as much and trust me if you are a professional photographer you have probably paid 20 times as much for a friggin ND filter that's for sure especially those square glass ones in the system you put on the front. My god. Anyways I'm glad that I'm out of those days with photography but for now, for me, for just wandering around and doing landscape photography, this system is like the best system in the world. For me. For me. So uh, I'm going to put links below. You go check them out. See what you think. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions on these filters, because they are pretty cool and pretty new, then uh, post them below and I will answer them. And uh, with all that said, thanks for watching. Take care and we'll catch you in the next video.